Good morning and welcome to the third annual St. Louis Children's Hospital and Washington University Clinical Informatics Symposium. I'm excited to tell you we've had over 120 people register for this event, so we're really pleased with the growth each year. So thanks to all of you for joining us this morning, including some of our colleagues from across St. Louis from the Gateway Chapter of the Hymn Society. So welcome to all of you. We have a couple of disclosures this morning. They're on the slide in front of you. I won't read that to you, but some of our speakers do have things to disclose, and we are required to present that to you um, prior to the session this morning. Um, before I introduce Dr. Schwartz, let me do a couple of housekeeping things. For those of you not familiar with this building, out the auditorium to the right are restrooms. There are also restrooms up the escalators to the left, so you're welcome to use those as well. I notice there is another group upstairs, but depending on our breaks and timing, that might be okay. Um, we will actually do questions as we have time available after each session, but there is also a panel at the end. So if you don't get your questions answered with it, each individual speaker, though, there will be a panel that you can um, ask questions at the close of the session. Um, please silence all your electronics. Um, during the break, there will be extra coffee and beverages, and uh, that will also give you a chance to look at the posters as well. Um, for CEs, if you are a physician and you need CMEs, you are to sign at the registration table, and we will get you CMEs. For nursing, you will need to complete the evaluation form, and at the end, you can print your CE form. Um, we will email a link for the evaluation to all participants, and we ask really for your feedback from everybody, not just nursing, that needs the CE form. But everybody, please complete the evaluation. The planning team does look at those, and that helps us to prepare for next year. Okay, so I, it's my pleasure this morning to introduce Dr. Schwartz um, to you. Many of you know him. He's been our leader here for many years at St. Louis Children's Hospital as our pediatrician-in-chief. For Washington University. He did much of his training in Boston. He has extensive background and, and work with the NIH and with um, teaching a lot of our residents and physicians here and um, developing them and bringing them forward. So he's got quite a legacy. Um, he will be tough to replace, although I think he's going to enjoy retirement sometime soon and uh, he will surely be missed. But please uh, join me in welcoming Dr. Schwartz. Uh, so just to uh, uh, modify something Terry said, uh, I'm going to be stepping down as chair but not retiring. And when I told my son about that, he said, you know, Dad, this is uh, just terrific. Uh, what are you going to be doing with all that free time when you're only working 70 hours a week? <laughs> Um, so I have two disclosures. Uh, first, uh, thank you, Terry, and I want to recognize Terry and Pele for organizing this symposium. But I want to begin with two disclosures. The, the first is that my son is a, uh, significantly involved with IT, okay? And so I'm not going to talk about his own disclosures, but just so you know that, you know, uh, half a generation removed, there's IT. The second disclosure is perhaps more important. Um, many of you will want to know which type of uh, personal IT device I use. Uh, Scott Rich, who is our IT director, has known for uh, many years. Um, it's a three-by-five card. It works very effectively. Um, it's prepared for me each evening by my secretaries. It lists all of my meetings. I get to add on to it. And importantly, it's very hard to break. Okay. Um, I wanted to share two quick vignettes with all of you to start out your day. Um, one has to do with the explosion of IT as we see it, and in part I want to recognize colleagues in the Department of Pediatrics, so I'm going to tell you very briefly a story that hit the uh, world news about two weeks ago. This was a discovery made by our colleagues uh, Christine and Todd Wiley and Greg Storch in the Department of Pediatrics, where they discovered a way to determine the genomic sequence of all known human viruses from one drop of fluid. Um, it's been all over the world news for the last two weeks. It is a tour de force 
in biomedical uh, informatics, the details of which I'm not going to share with you today. But the strategies that they used, and I'm sure others in the panel will talk about some of these things, are now, two weeks later, in clinical practice. And so IT is literally at the intersection of almost everything we do in medicine and science and discovery and advances in healthcare, and you're going to hear a lot about that. Uh, before I get to the second vignette, I want to thank all of our colleagues from CHOP. You'll hear more about this in their introductions. As perhaps not all of you know, uh, CHOP, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, is one of the three great children's hospitals of the world. Um, they might like to think it's the great children's hospital of the world. The other two children's hospitals each think they're the great children's hospital of the world. But I'm on safe territory saying it's one of the three great children's hospitals of the world, uh, which it is. It has an amazing clinical program. It has an amazing uh, research program and an amazing educational program. And they are all interrelated, and you'll hear some of that from the speakers at today's symposium. Yet they, like us here at St. Louis Children's and Washington University, have a whole set of challenges, and I'm going to challenge them now, and I'd like you as the audience to make sure that you ask them questions pointedly about this, okay? Which is, how do they relate, okay, to their adult hospital hub, and how do they relate to their school of medicine? Okay, because those are some of the same challenges St. Louis Children's Hospital has with the adult hospital, and actually the community hospitals in the BJC system, and the School of Medicine. We, we are on different kinds of IT platforms. We have different kinds of priorities. At a high level, we all have the same priority. Okay, But once you get a little more granular, there are very different priorities. And this, this is an enormous challenge, first of all, for every children's hospital in this country. And uh, CHOP has a magnificent history of IT, and we hope to squeeze out of them during the conference today every bit of uh, sort of wisdom they can provide for us. So please take that challenge and make sure that before they leave us today, you've squeezed out all you can in understanding those issues. Those are really the cardinal issues. So um, with that, I'd like to again welcome all of you uh, as you shouldn't know, but I am actually double booked. I'm going to have to leave here in a few minutes. Uh, welcome my colleagues from CHOP. Thank Terry and Pele again for organizing this symposium. And I uh, have every expectation this will be an incredibly rich educational session for everyone. So thank you very much. And I think I turn it back to Terry, to Pele. Thank you. All right, thanks everyone. I'm Pele Yu. Um, so I co chair this symposium with Terry. So I think we're going to just kick off our symposium. Thank you to Dr. Schwartz. Um, and let's uh, kick it off uh, with uh, uh, Scott.